I'd like to introduce another Cary School senior, Brianne Durchy, and her Panther Points of Pride video. Some of the people that have inspired me are my parents because they've pushed me really hard to um, excel in school and to take the harder route and I'm just really happy that they've pushed me this hard. I want the people to remember that I was a really good listener and I was really willing to be there for people once they needed it most. My favorite subject is science because my dad's the teacher of the class, which we have a really close bond, and um, I also really enjoy doing experiments, and um, we get to do some really fun things in that class and explore biology, and that's something that I'm really interested in going into, so that's definitely my favorite subject. One of the things that inspires me are the teachers of this school because they're very willing to be engaged with their students and get their students engaged in their classes and I think that's a really big deal because sometimes we might feel like we're a little bit bored or something but they always tend to find a way to maybe make it a little bit more fun and interesting for each of their own subjects. My favorite teacher is definitely uh, would have to be my dad, Mr. Durchy, um, just because his classes are really fun and interesting. He makes it in a way that um, he's able to reach out to every single kid. He even lets us do really fun uh, stuff like we've bl blown up gummy bears and test tubes and made them into fireworks. That's one of my favorite moments of being in school. So I think that that's probably my favorite teacher. Some ed educational advice I'd give younger students is definitely do the harder classes just because in the end it's worth it. And I think that if you can do dual credit classes, do them. It's, it's worth it in the end and it just makes it so you're more likely to go to college and I think that's a really important thing to do. The thing that I'm most proud of is that I pushed myself through the harder classes and that I've been able to get where I want to go and be able to experience new things and just get to know new people and I think that that's an amazing thing to do here at Cary. One of the things that inspires me outside of school is definitely traveling. Um, I've been to almost all of the 50 states and I've also been um, to New Zealand and I think that just experiencing new cultures is really inspiring because wherever you go school is really important and um, to go on and get a degree is really important in almost every culture so I think that that's a really cool thing to do. One of the most inspiring people that I look up to is definitely my mother um, just because she's always happy and she's willing to make everybody else feel included and I think that's a really good attribute to have and um, I really think that she's a wonderful woman and she's just an amazing mother so I look up to her every day. So in one year I'll hopefully be finishing up my associate's degree at CSI um, and then five to six years from now I'll probably still be working towards my master's or a higher degree in biochemistry. That's something that I really want to go into and I think it would be a really cool field. So that's hopefully where I'll be unless I change my mind. <laughs> So what I did for my senior project was I made a quilt and one of the major things I learned was from my mentor Wanda Peck and um, she taught me that older people have a lot of wisdom and you can learn a lot from them so I think I took more from Wanda than I did from making my quilt so I think that was something really cool to do. Something that I've learned from going through a tough time is that it doesn't last forever and um, go through it and it's going to be okay in the end and you'll be happy that you went through it um, later on. So that's just keep going. <laughs> the habit that I'll probably use the most is seek first to understand then to be understood just because I think it's really important to walk a mile in someone else's shoes um, and just realize what other people are going through and um, 
before you start to try to put your influence on them, just so you can understand. Thank you, Brianne. We appreciate you visiting with us today and look forward to your bright future.